Daima just dropped, and if you guys haven't checked it out, please go check it out. Check it out now because it's major spoilers in this video. What is up, everybody? It's your boy Zani the Greatest. I'm gonna be talking about Daima and using Sparking Zero kind of to mesh it together since this is gonna be DLC from it. I see a lot of things they can add as DLC after even after watching Daima. So I'm gonna be playing the game and kind of talking about the game. This is my Dragon Ball Daima review. So the first episode is called Conspiracy and as you watch this uh, episode, you're going to actually tell why this is actually called that. This is basically a our Demon Realm King. I already forget his name. I think it's Gano or Gano, something like that. He's already, this is guided plotting, plotting against um, the Z Fighters and everybody on Earth to get their Dragon Balls. Um, the reason why he wants these uh, Dragon Balls is that he's trying to access... Um, power he wants to just you know everybody everybody wants to drag about they are they always want immortal power uh, same old villain you know tendencies right the thing about this though they the way that they do this is really cool first of all they go back through the boo saga so as we know this starts right after the boo saga like right after it and what they do is they not only retell the story of the boo saga they re animate it and they redesign it in a way to showcase it in the eye of the enemy so now we're seeing it through the through the eyes of this king of the demon realm who we have more information on is now accompanied accompanied by uh, i believe he's related to supreme kai if, if i'm not mistaken mistaken they look exactly the same and so they go through these track records of these uh these memories of a boo and and vegeta and his final explosion and and everything and they and they get to a point where they're like okay we see how they're working on earth and we see these dragon balls they're different from the ones that they have now so demon realm or in the demon realm these drag uh, these dragon balls there are only uh three of them and they're guarded by these i, I forgot i forget the name of what they're guarded by is by these these three soldiers or whatever that you can't really access them without a, you know a certain amount of power it's hard to get past them so but there's only three and so his plan was to go to Earth, get their Dragon Balls, and actually go. Uh, I think summon their Dragon Balls, or no, actually take their wishes. Because as as they're going uh, through these memories, they realize that oh, Shenron, they can grant three wishes, three? That's crazy. So they they start picking apart wishes, making a plan, taking notes and everything. And so we get on Earth, and so this is kind of the part I wanted to address the lore of where this is going because it, it does pick up right after the Boo Saga, which is known for being the prolific uh, fusion saga uh, of everything. Uh, the Potara earrings get a little nerf, I guess. Like I don't know what what they did, but it's a little change in there. So basically, what is explained by Kabito and um, Supreme Kai is that the gas from Majin Buu somehow has an effect on the Patara airings effects. So it was able to divert them in Goku and um, Vegeta. So they, I guess they allowed Buu to swallow them. <laughs> it's kind of, it's kind of creepy. It's kind of weird. So with that being said, they kind of, I guess, changed the lore. I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about them actually doing that. With that being said, we get on into the part where they actually get on Earth, they get to the Dragon Balls, and along the way, they actually bring this old, old, old Namekian guy. I, I, let me tell you something. This guy is old as heck. He's walking slow and stuff like that, but don't let the looks fool you. This guy can do some crazy crap, all right? They get into the uh, uh, actual, uh, not hyper, well, technically the hyperbolic time chamber, but the, the lookout. And Dende and P Mr. Popo are, are there, and they're like, what, what the hell is going on? What do you guys want? Yada, yada, yada. The guy straight up comes in and tells them, hey, we want, we just want to get your Dragon Balls and stuff like that. And he kind of just walks in like he owns the place. Like, he straight up owns that lookout. He walks up there and, and, and just takes everything, right? And goes, and goes, and goes, okay. Right. He walks up there and goes, okay, cool. So, uh, now let's execute this plan. He tells the old Namekian, hey, like, what's the word in the Dragon Balls or whatever? And he asks Dende, hey, like, how can we summon these Dragon Balls? Dragon Balls, uh, Dende explains to them, hey, we just use them. They won't be allowed, allowed to be even used because they're stones or whatever, yada, yada, yada. And Demon Realm seems to have this already down pack. He sends the Namekian to teleport the Dragon Balls to them. This guy literally just sends beams and it just says, hey, here, here. Like, 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 like this is a freaking game in a freaking arcade. He grabs these Dragon Balls, bring them back to the lookout. And not only does he bring them to the lookout, they are at stone. And so now it's like, okay, what are you going to do? Yeah, this guy is cracked. This dude teleport. I don't know what he did. Fast forwards time of the Dragon Balls. And now all seven Dragon Balls are active. In the midst of this, 
the uh, assistant I, again i forget his name i'm still i gotta watch this episode again it's like literally the first after i first watched it he literally attacks dende and like chops his uh chest in he's like do we have a problem and i'm, I'm like yo this guy's dende just coming here owning shit and at the end of this he asked them to change them into kids and this is what made me kind of kind of put this in a, a different perspective he asked the the shenron to change goku and everybody into kids and he asked them to do it uh specifically at the age of first graders and so that gave me an idea in the beginning of the episode you see that trunks is actually this is actually his birthday this is his sixth birthday sixth grade i mean uh, first grade is usually sixth grade i don't know i had a wild thought that they might do a fusion and dad fusion father and son fusion that would be crazy or a kid gogeta would go sick but Aside from the little what ifs that I had from that, that was actually the end of the episode. They turned into kids and whatever, and that was the end of it. I'm interested to know, to know how you guys feel about how they went about this. This is obviously a setup episode. The first episode is always a startup. I really like this episode. I do give it a solid 8 out of 10. Uh, usually, first episodes of all of any episode I watch is usually like 8 or 10 or something like that. It's because it's always starting out. The reason is so I feel like they could have made it maybe a little bit longer and then kept the pacing to uh i guess the demon realm if anything they kind of showed us goku and them got us excited with a super amazing battle um let's talk about that because that was one of the big that was one of the best battle sequences i've seen vegeta and goku they gave us a taste of what we could see in this show and that was what really sent up the score for me that battle was sick and when it came right from uh they explained the uh, patara and everything that battle was insane but overall the storytelling was pretty solid the camera work the animation the first of all the animation was top tier uh, the shots were just easy i like how they're adding you know trying to get in with the new uh age and not sticking with uh the old stuff they were doing with super the animation looks sick it looks finished i don't know guys this is a solid solid episode let me know what you guys think well i hope you guys enjoyed me talking about dragon ball daima this is the first episode i'm gonna try to do these uh every episode after i watch them just playing and throwing up sparking zero clips playing spark zero all that good stuff um, I hope you guys have enjoyed Spark and Zero, by the way, but I, I think today is, yeah, today's Friday, so if you guys have your copy, let me know what platform you are on. I am on PC and PlayStation, so see me on the sticks. But anyway, yeah, now that was it for this video. I hope you guys like um, what you guys see here. Let me know if you guys, guys want to see more, and I'll definitely plan more out for you guys. I got a couple shorts and a couple things. Oh, and if you search me on Google, you could, if you search Super Saiyan versus Great Ape, Vegeta on Google on Spark and Zero. My video actually pops up. Let me know if you guys see it. I actually want to know. That is it for you guys. That's all I have. Please leave a like on the video. Subscribe if you're new. I want to get on some more Spark and Zero content. Peace.